Okay, now we have everybody. We got Facebook, we got YouTube. I'm gonna pull this out of the way. We'll finish up the lemonade later because the day is getting away from me. And we're gonna finish that up. Um, let me see here. And figure out what we gotta do because once I start on this pasta, it's gonna be all over the place. So, doing, doing two things right now. We're gonna go ahead and make up our meatballs, get those seed situated. And um, we're gonna be done with this, get this cabinet closed. We'll come back, we'll finish off that shot after, the, after I get everything ready. I just needed to film that, get that done on the first. If you missed the first one, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. If you haven't missed anything, some of y'all are like, oh man, I missed something. That was another video? Yeah, we did a, a video on lemonade. We did a raspberry lemonade. And I'm going to unplug that. We did a raspberry lemonade, which we're going to sweep with some agave. And look at my polar basil, like all that heat. So that a picturesque situation. We had a scene going on over here, and it was all quiet, but quiet on the set kind of thing. So now we're going to go back and knock out some meatballs, and uh, we're gonna knock out some ravioli. I know I said that like I'm just a pasta maker. All right, first of all, maybe a friend shared this, and I don't know it, but thank you. Thank you guys for watching on my timeline. Thanks for watching on your timeline. Thanks for inviting me into the cooking community online and everything. And so what's going on here is hanging out in the kitchen, getting ready to whip up some dinner. Um, they want meatballs kind of on the side. You just kind of have those, you know, but I want to do a ravioli. And a very simple ravioli. In my mind, it's kind of simple. I see it as simple. But when I go to make it, we're going to see. So three broadcasts going, uh, Facebook, my Facebook page, which is uh, Dryer Buzz. Also, we have In the Kitchen with Dryer Buzz. The live streams are long, okay? So what I do, what I will do is if the different portions of it, like the meatballs is already out there. The lemonade is already out there. The, you know, it, and what we do is we try to come back and do maybe a short one to two minute video. Uh, because people kept asking, where'd you get that? How'd you do this? And this simple recipe, not simple, I don't want to say simple. The recipes that I've tried, and I'm like, oh, I need to tweak that for me, right? There's some of the things I came up with, and let me tell you, meatballs and spaghetti. What in the hell? <laughs> and I certainly can't put, let me see if I put this phone on D&D. &D. Hold on, y'all. Without losing my, okay, because that camera is so sensitive. That app that I'm using is so sensitive. Okay, so um, what I have learned to do is some of these things uh, I've learned to be able to come in and knock out. Some of the recipes, I'm trying to like learn the recipes. So what, uh, I say simple, but it really isn't. I'm one of those, I just watched all the videos like everybody else. I came into the kitchen as a caregiver, 17 years blogging. After you've been to all the galas, if you've been to all the parties, if you've been to all the red carpets, if you talked to all the celebrities. Um, also, I did find a couple people last night that I thought were really interesting. Um, I got some burlap. Y'all, I'm falling in love with the burlap. So, oh, again, like the live streams are long. They're interactive. People cycle in. Don't forget to watch your hands. People cycle in. They cycle out and so forth. And so what... Um, Thank you. So what I'm going to do is, I want to actually cut some of this. Um, so I want to use this when I get ready to lay out my, back my uh, lemonade stuff. And I've, I've been falling in love with this burlap, and i got a couple ideas I want to do, especially as we get ready to set our scene. I'm going to do a scene for Easter that's coming up. So uh, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. So I need a piece of that. And I hope I got... Even these little salt and pepper shakers, I saw these. Uh, we went out the other day, 
and they're little they're little bunnies but instead of having to twist you just gotta crank it crank 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 so i thought that was kind of cute so that'll go there um uh, also cheeses let me just tell y'all Probably the most expensive if you when you start following recipes, and that's how I kind of got started. Is like I wanted to. I came in as a caregiver, and I'm like I want to up my skills a little bit and, and flavors and recipes and things like that. And the most expensive thing on my grocery list has been cheeses. But what I found at um at one of the grocery stores is they have a little bass over the cheese section. They have a little basket of uh, remnants, kind of like Zakia with the soap, like you get the samplings, right? Because the cheeses run you $7 and up, okay? And I like to try different cheeses, but I know my daughter noticed the other day, it's like, wait, here's a basket of all, when they get down like this, they wrap these up, and it's usually really all you need. Because what happens is, when you what you end up with is remnants of recipes, like, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then next thing you know, you start throwing stuff out. So what I've decided instead of, because how many times have you bought something huge, okay, and then you get home and it says, oh, use a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon. You're like, what? Like this, I bought this and I'm like, and I hate breadcrumbs. I literally hate bre breadcrumbs. But when I finally gave in and used them, because I thought breadcrumbs in a recipe, I thought that was like a, a Great Depression uh, technique. Like they just use it, you know, just kind of stretch the meals and, and meats and different things like that. I'm sure they did. But now, you know, they're, they're, they have flavor, extra flavor, a lot of flavor. And, and texture is pleasant to the texture. Because when we think about a meatball, you like, you really just want to make a ball of meat, right? But when I finally said, okay, I'm, I'm going to do a recipe on meatballs. Not, I'm going to do it. I'm going to find a recipe on meatballs. And I was like, whoa. Adding in all that stuff was really good flavor. So we're going to do that. So we're going to put some breadcrumbs in there. We're going to put some, um, what did I do with the other one? Some garlic. We're going to put some garlic powder, some onion powder, some nutmeg goes into, no, nutmeg goes, I think that nutmeg, nutmeg goes in my ravioli. Uh, salt, some pepper, and I have found that I need to add in some additional seasoning. And I have this one. Uh, this one is a Montreal steak seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit of that because this, the garlic, salt and garlic, the garlic powder, onion powder wasn't enough for me. Wasn't enough. And, and you'll find that traditional Italian meals, they, they, they just don't have enough punch. A lot of people like a little bit of heat. To their food and so forth and so on and then after i whip these up and get these ready and rolled out and let them marinate for a little bit do what they do and then too i was like fry the meatball like why can't i just put that in the oven or the slow cooker or this that and the other but then that was a whole other thing that was so delicious about it so let me get a pan that i'm just gonna put those in while we get those all nice to roll I think last time I did one of these so I can get my pictures, my photos. And that's the only thing, too, I am on. I did not get, I think my camera is about dead. I ordered a battery charger. Ooh, I got some camera. Okay, good. So we can take a couple shots. Okay, cool. That's good. I know the battery is low. Hopefully, while we're on this broadcast, FedEx shows up. So let me grab my good pan here. And then we're going to And it's gonna be kind of quiet because I just feel like um I narrate a lot. So if I see a question or a comment, then I'll I'll address it. Try to say hello to everybody. Hey they're coming in. Uh I will try and I can't see my Facebook and the YouTube one. Because I don't have any more devices in. So that'll hang out over there. My bow.
I keep telling Patty Betty her whole conversation be on my stream. And those of you that are watching on YouTube, you can feel free to go to, you can feel free to go over to your, I'm turning on television here. You can feel free to go over to your television and lean back, lean back. Um, and let me see. <laughs> it's so funny how YouTube caught me like that. Like, whoa, whoa, girly, girly, whoa. I refresh this because I know it's there. There it goes. I see it. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So we got it up so I can see. Now I can see YouTube and I know I can see comments so kind of way. But also, let me go on here. And see who's watching over here. So, hello there, Facebook. Let me drop this link over here. That ain't the link. Okay, so now we've got, I wrote my notes down since I've got my phone over there. So, we got our meat. You know, there's always a lot that I have to deal with. I'm going to do a bag. is in my flower so I won't bother with that.
half a teaspoon each of uh, the garlic and onion powder. I went a little heavy. I went a little heavier on it simply because we like a little bit more flavor. Uh, oh, my parsley. I might need to check y'all on some battery too. This thing ain't charged at all. Seems like I'm, I'm not with my regular crew. Where's my regular crew? Thanks, guys, for hanging up. Back over on Periscope. Back to Periscope. I can see you guys now. All right. So, we're going to do um, parsley, a fourth of a cup of parsley. So, just go ahead and break some of that off and let it fly all over the kitchen. I feel like I want a little bit more of that, though. Instantly, 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 you get that aroma. We don't get enough of these aromas in our lives. I'm not a chef. I'm not trying to play one on, t on, on live stream or TV. Because there's a girl right there on TV. And I, I, I'm getting ready. I'm looking for another butcher block so I can actually turn that way. But hopefully y'all are paying more attention to the um, Ingredients more so than the fact that I need a haircut bad. Oh my god. Yep. And I'm gonna tell you, cooking by recipes, let me tell you what I love. I love seeing all these different colors in the food and the taste. And the flavors, y'all, I'm telling you, we keep thinking that because of convenience, because we need so much convenience in our life. Now, I'm just telling you, like, yeah, it looks like I'm going through a lot on my live stream because I'm learning. But the more and more I do it, the better I become uh, comfortable with it. And the more it becomes, like, I can already tell, like, my family... I can already see influences in what everybody's doing, right? And so that's a that's a larger part of this. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do about the cheese here. Mm. I'm wondering if this is going to be my friend today. Are you going to be my friend? Are you going to be my friend? Or do I need to just grate this cheese? I don't think it was a grated situation. Let's see. I want to make sure y'all can see. All right, so we did the garlic, we did the parsley, we got to do some pepper. Okay, that's going to take forever. Um, did I even get the pepper out? Pepper was at... Uh, Oh, a half a teaspoon? I was like, a half? A half or what? Half a teaspoon of pepper. This is going to be dangerous. I'll go with it. All right. Whew. Okay. Let's see if I sneak. Okay, the pepper was the only thing I didn't have. Onion powder we did. Pepper, parsley, garlic, milk, breadcrumb, eggs, meat, and the only thing is the cheese, which is a half a cup of the pecorino, which is pecorino. What am I doing with that other one? Parmesan is going in the ravioli. 
So again, like I, I was saying that, oh, I know what I was talking about earlier, how cheese is like the biggest expense in following these recipes. And so what you want is, like I'm about to, I'm about to really rock all of this because it said a half a cup. But I'm going to go ahead and chop it up. I may not have to use it. I think I have something uh, chopped already. Let me see. I'm trying to think if I did or not. And what do you love most? Cheese! Can y'all see that? Did that move that way? Oh, the price on that little piece of cheese was two dollars and seventeen cents. Compared to the eight dollar for original block, for a whole block, for a regular block. So as y'all can see, what I said half a cup. So, dang it. God, this is so freaking good. Oh, Jesus. Yes, she did that. Woo, honey, these meatballs are going to be good. These meatballs are going to be delush, 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 delicious. And nothing like some good cheese, y'all. I could go, I could have a little bit more. So now I'm going in with a half cup of cheese. Pecorino. All right, cheese in there. I think that's it. Although I wanted some of that to eat, Owen, because, man, that cheese is good. Oh, my God. Perfectly. All right, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. We're going to try not to be all day. We're going to try to act like an expert. Oh, yeah, I love how I finally figured it out how to close it up. So this little thing right here, this is the Ninja, uh, the new, new newest addition to the Ninja family. Uh, it's $34. If you want to get, it comes with uh, your blender. So you have two pieces. And I'll share a link to this. Um, and it comes with, this comes with it on top. My daughter's on a smoothie tip. So, and then you just basically go from one to the other based on the one you need. Now, I know that I have been doing so much chopping. And a lot of times, one, one thing why the video is so long. What happened here? Okay. One thing why the video, the live stream was so long is because there was just so much prep. And I really need to cut that time down. Uh oh, wrong socket. I really need to cut the time down because y'all seem to enjoy hanging out with me and y'all be on here all day. I'll be in here all day. I'm not cut up anything else. I might have to cut up something else. We'll just leave it out. Um, I'm in here all day. Y'all in here all day. Family's on the other side of the camera like, is it done yet? Is it done yet? So look how fast we just did that. And I'll show you what's going on in my bowl there. Um, let me see. Nope. Here? There? Okay, there we go. Let's just do it that, like that. There we go. Bring it right down. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can see what I have in my bowl. I've got one pound of ground beef. I just went with the ground beef last time we did the sirloin, because that's all they had available. Uh, one pound of ground beef. I've got two eggs, a half a cup of um, breadcrumbs, a fourth of a cup of milk. I actually did a half and a half. Um, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a cup of parsley, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a cup of pecorino, and yeah, that's it. So, my powders were 
half a teaspoon, and then oh, I haven't put it in my, I haven't put it in any salt, uh, in my seasoning. So that this is what this was the actual recipe. I, on the other hand, went back in because we what we did was somebody said last time you gotta cook cook one and see if you know once we made them up. Somebody was like, cook one and see if now I got pepper all over my face. Hold on. Is that somebody coming in? Wait, that's still like a package drop. Hold on. But I heard the um, FedEx. I'm waiting on a battery. I'm waiting on a, a battery for my phone. All right, wash my hands back. All right, so um, and then too, you can add add in other things if you want to add in some other things. Like I was thinking about the um, I have a daughter that she got a break. She already had a break. Um, I was thinking about adding in some mushroom to that, but then we're gonna do mushroom actually with the um, ravioli, which you're still trying to figure that out. I still got to research and do some more research on my ravioli. I don't know what, I'm always torn on the, how to stuff the ravioli. All right, so again, like I said, we want a little bit more flavor, so I'm gonna go in with a, a teaspoon of, just some steaks. I almost wanna go two teaspoons on that. Make it mine. That's, here's the make it mine part. So I went in with a little bit of steak seasoning. Uh, in there because that aroma right there and then plus that's got everything in it uh, so I went in a little bit of steak seasoning I'm just gonna go with just a tiny bit of salt which is what I really should leave out but just a little bit okay just a little bit and that's it because the last time when I was making them I found that I had once we made one and we cooked it up and we realized it just had no flavor. Even with all of that stuff in there, it was like, oh my God, it's missing something. It's missing something. So let me get my lemonade out of the way and get my pan over here. Uh, wait, I'm gonna do this over here with you guys. No, we gotta, we're not cooking it just yet. Okay, so I'm gonna get that mixed up and then we'll go. And I'm gonna cook that on the thing here. Oh, look at it. Oh, my God, y'all. I'm going to have to go in with my hands here in a minute. I'm just trying to get that egg mixed in. It smells so good. Oh, my God, that smells good. And that cheese and the, oh, parsley. And then you get, you get a pretty color. You get a nice color mixture on that. Making sure my egg and my cheese is distributed. And don't think that you have to use beef, anything, any kind of ground meat, you know? Um, just try it. This is my little trash bin there. That can slide back. And that's, that's it, y'all. I mean, like, literally. Like, literally. That's it. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and start to roll out my meatballs. And they're going to hang out while we do the pasta. Because the thing about it is, homemade pasta, homemade pasta cooks in a minute. You're going to see me work all this work on this pasta. It cooks in literally like one to two minutes. So that's why you want to have all, there, there is no put the pasta on and walk out the kitchen, go do this, go do that, no. It literally, you know what, I'm going to be real fancy. Let me trim this up. I'm going to be real fancy here. Otherwise, I'm going to sit here and fight with it all day, right? Exactly what I just said. And that's why I said, let me trim it 
up because it's going to get on my nerves. It's going to get on my nerves. And I, I keep wanting to buy the already cut. And I'm like, no, I don't like that price. I don't like that price. And it, while this is the best thing to cook with, it is so freaking irritating trying to deal with this paper. But y'all, I'm telling you, my cookie sheets still look brand new because I use them. And I was going to buy, yesterday I was at the cooking uh, warehouse and I was going to, I was going to buy the, uh, what do you call it? The, the um, baker thing. And I'm like, I'm going to wait a little bit and see what kind of stuff that yields, what that give off. You know, I, I'd rather just stick with some paper. I like paper. Paper has not become my nemesis quite yet, you know. But, yeah, the parchment paper, it does save your pan a whole lot. It's just mean as hell. Can you get your ass in that pan yet? Yeah. smaller uh, this time because we're doing it with some ravioli. We're having ravioli, so we're going to go a little smaller than the last uh, meatballs we did. Well, we went kind of big, but, or average size, but now I'm just going to go kind of small. Can y'all see that? I'll put it over here. I still may get kind of big, but y'all, I can tell y'all how good this smells. OMG. And don't even don't even trip because every time you go to an event, what do you fill up on? Meatballs. How many of y'all go to I went to a um opening night and they had a they had a caterer there and man they had the best meatballs. You know, I went right over to because I think I had just made meatballs. And I went right over to that table, honey. I went right over to that table. And I know everybody's like not eating meat, don't ask me about a substitution. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to substitute. I will tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Go and check out the video. We did the um, sauteed greens. Collard, sauteed collard greens. That, if those of y'all that are vegan and y'all looking for some other green vegetables, I know people are like they don't want to do collard greens because it takes a long time to cook. Let me tell y'all. Sauteing them and keeping them green, keeping your greens green. Oh my God, it's so good. Keeping your, oh, these look so pretty. You can feel that, feel that cheese up in there. Keeping the greens green. Go look at the YouTube video where we did the sauteed greens from uh, Chef Adam Joseph. I got a chance to hang out in the kitchen with some of my chefs. Um, let me just go one off on this. Got a chance to hang out with some of my uh, chef friends, new chef friends. I'm meeting chefs all over, y'all, because, you know, they jumping on here looking like, what's she doing? What's she doing? I'm not a chef. I'm not trying to play one on live stream, okay? And uh, so when I run into them, they're like, oh, yeah, I saw your video. Like last night, we got a chance to talk about the pasta today with uh, uh, a chef from Shark Tank. And she is not only is she a chef, but she's also an angel investor. So we got a chance to meet uh, and talk a little bit on the red carpet. And I shared her video, so I'm sure her PR person has already tagged me a couple times in there. 
So, uh, but I got to just talk with her about the meatballs as well as uh, the pasta. We talked about we talked about cheeses last night. So don't think that you know when you're doing this. I don't think people are not watching. People are watching. People are seeing. It's becoming my reputation. Uh, in fact, it was one of my one of my blogger friends, best blogger buddies. He got on my video. He actually took my camera. He was talking to my viewers about me hanging out in the kitchen. How y'all got me hanging out in this kitchen, and they're not seeing me out on the blog scene at the pre premieres and stuff. So a lot of people were shocked to see me there last night. Oh man, we're, we're going pretty good on Petty Betty. Look, Petty Betty tried to get me to double up on these uh, meatballs. She was like, we need more than that. I'm like, no, because we had meatballs left over. We we have so many left over. And that was his question last night. He was like, uh, Jerry Bus, who eats all that food? You know? And so if it's good, the family, if it's not too gourmet, you know, if it's not way over the top, They'll eat it. Um, they, in fact, they absolutely love it. So, but these are going to be kind of on the side. They're not going into the dish, but they will be on the side. Um, cause I really want to, I'm only doing ravioli because I have the pasta tool that I've been dying for and I finally found it and I want to try that. So, um, for my pasta, I'm going to use some um, all-purpose flour. For those of y'all want to try a cook-along, I'm going to use some all-purpose flour, a little bit of semolina just to hold it together. Patty Betty needs some to take. That's what she was, you, Dre, you already know. Patty Betty is always thinking about the next day, huh? Because she's probably thinking, man, it's going to be so good. Everybody going to eat it up, and she ain't going to have enough for lunch. That's what she's thinking about. You already know. But this, I think this is enough for Patty Betty's dinner and for, for lunch. Although it's gonna be good, and I'm still I'm still shocked that that meatballs get fried. I didn't realize they get fried. I I thought they were going in the oven, but uh, they come out so good when you go ahead and put them in that oil. Last one, tiny one here. All right, and unlike unlike my 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 favorite friend uh, Zakia Ringo, I guess I could have took some of this one. Please, we could have made that one's kind of big. Let's make two. There we go. There you go. Now we got two. I knew it should come out evenly. It definitely should come out evenly. And there's another huge one right there. I could have added it on too. All right. How many did we end up? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 meatballs. 26 meatballs out of a, a pound of meat. That's why. That's why they were able to, the olden days were able to stretch food and all that stuff to it. Because don't think they added all this stuff to it for flavor. They were just trying to stretch it. And that's what I was telling my kids. I'm like, we need some of those lessons, you know. Hey there. I'm going to have to call you Ice. Because trying to say ZJ. Hey Ice, welcome in. So one of the things that in, I used to hate to see recipes with breadcrumbs. And I'm like, that's so depression era. But it does add to the texture. It does add to the flavor. And one, because... These are things that when you see recipes like this, these are things that they had in abundance in that region. We're so used to going to the grocery store and having everything, but everything is not about our region. So say for instance, if I didn't add parsley, I could have added another green. You know, it's just about having that color. Um, I could take this to another level and I could have really diced up small, some peppers like those. But like here, everything starts with onion. And the fact that there are no onions and peppers in this, like, I really could have chopped up some onions, peppers, and some celery and uh, and put that in there, too. But then that would have been like a whole other meatloaf. So, <laughs> we'll leave that for the meatloaf. And y'all know I like to kind of clean as I go. Because I don't want to have to come back to this stuff. When I'm out of the kitchen, I want to be out of the kitchen. So let me just wash this out and get that over there. But think about it again. I'm live streaming. If it's just you and your family and your kitchen, you know, give everybody a task. Look how fast I um, look how fast I chopped up that cheese myself. Instead of buying cheese already grated, I got a, got it at a good price. Had just enough. I had a, bought a little block of cheese. I needed a fourth quart. What, what was it? A fourth of a cup of cheese? No, a half of a cup. 
half of a cup of pecorino, instead of getting that big $8 block, I got a $2 block. This right here is some Parmesan Reggiano. Reggianito. So this is going to be good. This is going inside the pasta mix, the stuffing for the pasta mix, which actually has basil in it. I think it's, I think it was basil. I got to, I got to tell Patty Patty to find the recipe. Cause I'm, I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out. So I'm going to put this um, over here. Let that hang out. I want to put it in the fridge, but because it's not covered, well, I put it in the fridge. But I'm just so proud of it. Aren't y'all proud of it? I just whipped up meatballs. Now, mind you, I make a mean meatloaf. Patty! Yeah, we call her Patty. She's Patty. Y'all already know. And you know what? I will have to do that. I will have to fry those off in that pan because I just realized the pan that I want to use is in the fridge. I hadn't even cleaned up the fridge all the way from leftovers. Yes, I am about to make me a piece of pie and uh, finish off my lemonade because I had no business opening that fridge and I saw it, now I want it. I want it, want it, want it, want it, I want it. Okay, so let's get this going. Like, why not? Uh, okay, I'll do a small slice. It's lemon, it's key lime, it's key lime pie. Not homemade at all, this is Edward's honey. I ain't even trying to, mm -mm. I just need something sweet. My mouth is getting dry. I don't even know if I had any breakfast today. I think I did. I don't know. Did I eat? Did I have breakfast? I never know. It's like I'm around all this food. I can never remember if I actually ate anything. And now we'll be smacking on y'all. Mm. Okay, now what? Since I got this out, let me go ahead and do this cheese right here so I can get this out of the way. Because I know I'm going to I know I'm gonna need that. I know I'm going to. I keep feeling like stuff's all over my face. I know my makeup's on, but hey. Nose is itching. I'm going to go ahead and cut, chop this up. Patty Patty. Now, y'all know, we, we heard her, like, all on the phone. We heard her entire phone conversation. She right there. Why doesn't she, why come she can't hear me? All day? I need your phone to check the, I'm going to have a recipe for the ravioli. What goes in the, I have one, but I don't have I don't have the. What are you bringing all the cheese? The mushroom? Right, but is was it gonna be the mascarpone? Was I don't know. No, it was gonna be the ricotta and the cream cheese. We did get ricotta, okay. And the mushroom. But then you wanted some cream cheese in there. Yes. And that's this block stuff you got here, right? Is that one? This block yeah, stuff. Block. Yeah, the cream cheese. So I'm adding yeah. in some cream cheese, and it's got the parmesan. Where's my uh, my old recipe? Let me tell you what my old recipe. You, am I chopping the mushrooms in it, or are we just gonna saute the mushrooms on it? I don't think I much. Think you put just a little in it, just to mix it. Inside of it? Yeah, just a little. So chop a little. Let me go back. Let me tell you what's on this one, because the one I did, the stuffing for the tagliali was really good. It was just ricotta, nutmeg, egg, salt, spinach. So where did the basil come in at? One that, that was on the basil. Remember, it had basil and leek. I thought we were doing the leek. But we bought the leek. So where did the basil come in? A little bit of basil is going in this? I wonder if it was for decoration. I don't think basil was for decoration. It was on that, it was on that recipe. I'm going to put a little bit of basil in it. But I wanted to keep this. Well, I know it's not totally it's not totally vegan because it got this dairy in there. Because I, I don't know. I guess I actually eat it with the dairy. Um, but I was trying to keep it. And I couldn't remember. 
I bought those tomatoes, but I wasn't sure. Oh! Oh, we had a recipe on here for sauce. Garden pasta sauce. Oh, yeah. Two large onions chopped. Two cloves of garlic. Couple. So this is what I love about recipes. When you start cooking, when you start having keeping stuff on hand. Like, I can read this recipe, and I have this stuff in my wine. It's good. Oh, I got some stuff over there. Okay, good. All right. Two large onions. Two cloves of garlic. A third of a cup of olive oil. Fifteen large tomatoes. Who making that much damn sauce? Uh, peeled, cut and dressed. Two cups red wine, um, water, broth, salt, crushed red pepper to taste, oregano, basil. Okay, basil was in the sauce and some rosemary. I was going to do kind of a beef sauce, but then my daughter is may stop by, so I'm going to do that, a garden sauce, which takes me back to a, a marinara kind of sauce. But onions, oh yeah, because I, I, I got to, yeah, okay, we'll do that, we'll do that. We'll do a tomato sauce. And then, so I'm just going to put in a little bit of basil, okay. All right, so what was the cheese? Parmesan. Again, I did not write down any of, but you'll find some of the recipe standards are a cup to a half a cup. Um, and I have to cut back on these recipes because they are, they do make a lot of this stuff. And it's so funny because this thing says a kilo, a kilo of a ricotta. But I'm not doing the spinach because I only want the cheese, so I'm not doing spinach. I want to put a little bit of basil. I know it wasn't a lot of basil, but it said something had leek in it. I think the leek goes into the sauce. I got to figure it out. Penny Betty is not helping me right now. now. All my devices are on stuff, but I remember I Googled it. I Googled one, so let me Google. Let me see. That's not helpful at all. Let me see. I'll be back for dinner. You'll be back for dinner. What about your dog? I'll be back for dinner. Where's the Google on here? All right, I'm going to look up just the basic ravioli. And I know, oh, there it is right there. Isn't that the one I was thinking about? Is that it? Yeah, that looked like it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. This is the one with the much. Let me show y'all what I'm, what, what, let me show y'all the end results just in case mine don't come out like that. <laughs> All right, so can y'all see that? Okay, so the mushrooms are, but see that one, that one has a kind of a beefy sauce to it, which I want. And I, I hate that if I do tomato sauce, then my daughter doesn't even show up. Oh, there's a pork chop recipe with mushrooms. Oh, my God. Oh, these things just don't make no sense, y'all. So on the ravioli, they had, and this is off of Food Network, looks like. All right, recipe. Where is the recipe? You have to click on something. They make it so hard. They put all this stuff on the daggone page. You don't know what you clicked on. Damn it. Oh, it was a bacon ravioli mushroom. Oh, my God. I hate them. The heck is the recipe? Okay. See that? They start with pork. I don't, I don't, I don't want the dough. I don't want the dough. I want the filling. Okay. See, it does say leek. Three leeks, half, and sliced. I have no idea what that is. I have leeks. But I'm like, what part of the leek, right? And then they have eight slices of bacon. We didn't do that. We're not going to do the carrots. See? And it says a third of a cup. We got all that plus a third of a cup of ricotta cheese. Oh! No, not the Parmesan. Do 
the Gruyere. How you say it, y'all? Somebody said for me, three ounces, finely grated. Not the Parmesan. The Parmesan is at the end. Okay, this says a filling. Filling is leek. The, the leek is the filling with the bacon. It was bacon, leeks, and carrots, basically. But I'm just trying to figure out how to... improvise with, with what I have. I'm not trying to make any substitution. I'm not trying to rebuke the recipe. I just remember they, I, I'm trying to find the basis of a basic ricotta. Uh, third of a cup. Okay, that's some parsley. Oh, okay, that's the color, the parsley. So parsley went in there for the filling. Leeks. Um, parsley, ricotta, gruyere, eggs. But so that's the base. I'm trying to get a base. I'm trying to get a base and then improvise with what I have. Make it more mushroom. I'm trying to go through this without having to do photos and video and all that kind of stuff. I'm just not. Oh, yeah. I, I keep forgetting I have a camera. Hold on, guys. I can't see comments because I'm on Google. And I can't see the devices because I'm all on forward face and trying to get you guys a better shot. Because you know how the periscope was kind of washed out with the selfie cam? So you guys are on the forward facing. So if y'all would just bear with me, I'll be back to the comments just a second here. Mmm. It's so good. All right. So. Mmm. I just want to get my bases of Third of a cup. That's a lot of damn parsley. down our um, recipe a little bit because I, I know this is making a lot. I'm not making that much. I know, this, I know, I know, I know, cut, I'm moving from one cut, cutting board to the next because I don't want the, this one is staining with all this stuff and I'm like, I don't want that. I gotta cut another cheese, I know. One more towel. All right, I just wanna make sure I got. I'm trying to commit this to memory. 
right, let me get some ingredients together and then I'll be back to comments, guys. Juanita in that movie. I'm on sabbatical. <laughs> Black woman sabbatical. off with just a little bit of mushroom y'all just a little bit of mushroom in it because it's going to be mushroom in the thing too but i just want a little hearty bite of mushroom in there I was gonna do a beef broth with that, and I'm just thinking I better stick with it. I think she'll do dairy. I don't think she'll. I think she'll make an allowance for dairy. I don't think she'll make an allowance for beef. You know what? Why? Why? Where's the blade? I've got to go battery shopping. Well, actually, if Amazon come on, we'll have another battery.
if that don't smell like Mother Nature, I don't know what will. Or what does. What's on that one up there? Facebook? YouTube? So what we're going to do is we're going to end up sauteing some of the um, mushrooms, but I'm going to put a little bit of mushroom, which I just finally chopped some mushrooms. So basically it's going to be the um, Gruyere mushrooms, parsley, um, and I think I'm supposed to top it off with a little bit of basil. Basically we're going to get creative. Some ricotta, cream cheese, all that goodness. Again, y'all coming on in the middle. My name is Yolanda. I am known around Atlanta and beyond as Dryer Bug. Created one of the first blogs you will ever read in your hair salon. We have been digital. I am Atlanta. Atlanta's original digital. We took your digital in 2002. Prior, well, actually, yeah, 2002. Prior to that, we were we had hopes of becoming a print. We were a local newsletter um, that talked about a local newsletter that talked about things that went on in the community. That newsletter uh, became popular in the salons and in the barbershops. And where's my lemonade? Um, became popular in the salons and in the barbershop. I need to get a final shot of my lemonade too. And so, and I'm going to do that when I take one of y'all off. Um, let me see if I can get Periscope back on. I'm going to start using this as my little toss it, toss it basket. And so, uh, I woke up one day and I was think, trying to think of a, a, a website name. Because the name I had for the newsletter was kind of long and I wanted to, uh, I, I don't know. I woke up and the angel just simply said, dryer bugs. I was like, okay. And I went to Google, not Google, you couldn't Google back then, Google wasn't around. I went to the search engine, I looked up dryer bugs and of course everything about an appliance came up. And uh, I still loved it and I got the domain name and I became dryer bugs. And you read it into your on my Tagline was, we're going to meet you where you are in the salons and barbershops and so forth. Throughout your busy day, uh, you'll be able to come and read about what's going on around the city and beyond. As far as the diaspora, we want, my goal was to connect the diaspora just as much as everything else out there, as well as to undo media apartheid, meaning that during that time, during the early, the late 90s and the early 2000s, uh, you can come online and see the cultures that you do today, just as in everything else, we have to kind of fight to be seen, to show ourselves and all that kind of stuff. So one of the first, and I, I, I did it because I was in online all day and I'm like, well, man, my children are coming online. It's like, they don't see themselves, just like everything else. Uh, so we spent 17 years kind of undoing media apartheid and having a good time with it. So I recently went into the caregiver space and I realized it's like as much as we know, there's still a lot that we don't know. As much as we share, there's still a lot that we don't share. There are people who, they're not coming online and sharing uh, a lot of things that are going on in their life. And I'm like, hey, listen, this is me and all of my trauma and drama and also my glory. Uh, Darlene, McCar Dar Darlene McCoy uh, met her yesterday on the red carpet. And she said, she said, if you weren't good enough, you wouldn't have the grace. And that's what this is, y'all. This is grace. This is every bit of grace. This is every bit of survival. This is every bit of, I got out of bed today, that's a podcast. This is every bit of becoming, that's a podcast. This is every bit of blogging. Um, and I, I wanted to um, join K 
communities out here where people are sharing what's going on in their lives. Because I, I was able to turn a couple places and really get some answers when it like took me into that phase phase of life and on this side of life. And so I said, well, you know what? I like that community. I like that it's more of a community than anything else. Um, it's not a pity party kind of thing. Like, I hope y'all don't pity me. Don't pity me. It's not a pity party. It's not trying to get people in pity parties. It's like saying, wait, stop. This thing will happen to you kind of thing. Here's what you do. You come into your kitchen or you just find what can be your your saving grace. What can be your sanity, you know? Chopping these vegetables, working that stuff out, working with this pasta. I'm going to bring out a butcher block here in a second. After we get the filling done, um, that too will go into the fridge with the meatballs. That's going to chill. And then we're going to make the pasta. Now, once we make the pasta, then everything's going to amp up. And this is why people buy some of this stuff for the convenience of it. But when you, whatever you buy at the store, you will not have the flavor. And your house is not going to smell like this. And you won't smell like this. People always, what did you cook today? I'm like, I did not get to tell them what I cooked today because Lord knows I smell like it. Okay? Fresh onions and all that kind of stuff. So then we got to prep some vegetables on the sauce. So let's get, the, let's get the, the stuffing done. And then we got to think about prepping another prep for the sauce. So, I don't think I want to end up with a lot on the stuffing. So, we'll go, we'll go I think this little bowl right here, because we're not going to do a lot. And you'll be surprised, a little goes a long way when it comes to that. But then I'm looking at, man, I got to cover this, cover that. I might make it. So, what I'm going to do is basically, and I know with this, even though this is good and fresh and good, it's definitely going to need a little bit of seasoning, so I'm going to go back to my seasoning with my garlic and onion powder. And I think I'm going to just do salt and pepper as opposed to this the steak seasoning, because that's a little, that's a real kind of hearty there. So I think we'll just do some salt and pepper on that. Um, and that's pretty much it. And instead of spinach, I'm doing mushrooms, because I think I want a little bit of mushroom bite in that. The hope is that the, because last time I made a really good, Feeling I didn't have the right pasta tool to seal off my ravioli. So hopefully this tool that we have today is going to work for us on the pasta. And I think too, I think we're supposed to stop at four, um, four or three. We'll figure out what the pasta um, feels like. So, all right. So I've got my. Did I write down anything? So now here. I didn't write down, still didn't write down the uh, how much I need on that. I'm waiting on that device to come back up, which is why I, please don't start over, stay right there. Okay, so, half a teaspoon of the nutmeg is going to go in there too. All right, let me see if this is back up so we can... Get them back in here with us. Facebook, I'm going to invite y'all over to uh, Instagram for me, okay? Gotta rotate, y'all. Gotta rotate, rotate, rotate. Gotta, 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 gotta rotate, rotate. Let me see. Is this thing ready to come on? What is it doing? Oh, is it? Oh, it is on. Okay. Let me get this set. I keep getting these amber alerts. What's going on out there, y'all? Did I please tell me I copied that? What's going on with the Amber Alerts, people? Taking a break, y'all. Bear with me here. What's that one on? Oh, that's on YouTube. Okay. Oh, I need a break.
Hold on for me, guys. Get one more device up. Instagram, Jelan, I'm gonna let you guys hang out with me for a minute or two. Alright, I can't see, can't see the comments at all. So we're using all four facing cameras for everybody that's back on with me. And now we're getting ready to uh mix up. Oh, there we go. We're back. Okay, cool. We're we're back. Alright, so now we're getting ready to mix up. So this is part two. Uh, had to restart Periscope again. My fault, though. Hey there. Okay, so again, swipe to the profile, get all the information you need, and uh, and come back and join me. Uh, trying to think. Oh, they do have the same thing. I don't know why I always try to open this thing, knowing that's not what it is. It does not even lend itself to that. Did I grab the right thing? This is my ricotta, right? Yep. Crazy how creamy this stuff is. So in part one, we made a lemonade. If I know it's a stream day, y'all know this is actually a replacement for my Wednesday. So I am uh, streaming today because we just had so much going on yesterday. I had to go out and cover an event on yesterday. So today I am catching up on one, we need dinner, two, I need videos, three, I got ingredients I need to use. I got ingredients and I got to use them. I'm just throwing in some cream cheese just for the extra creaminess. As if we can't, I'm like, you put in that much, you might as well put it. But you can do too much now, you can do too much. I'm, I'm stopped, stop. stop. All right, I think I think everybody likes cream cheese, but I like they like uh, ricotta anyway. All right, so normally I would use the spinach, but today substitute for the spinach. I want to use a little bit of mushrooms. I finally chopped those, equal out with the cheese. I got some parsley in there. So what's gonna go in there is my. Let's see if we can get at least one picture going on here before this thing die out. On. Oh, the card. I'm wondering why I can hear outside. I got the door all open. All right, welcome me on Instagram. Hey, everybody coming in on Instagram. I'm behind the camera here right, right quick. Um, but welcome in. All right, we did a little bit of Facebook, now we're doing a little bit of Instagram. For those of you who try to bring your camera back into the shot, and you try to figure out, like, you don't want to go to the desktop, like, I have rebuked the desktop at this point, get you a card reader. Get you a card reader, especially on the iPhone. I don't know, I guess there's for other ones, too, Androids. 
But get your card reader um, adapter. All these kind of adapters are, are lifesavers for those of us who end up doing so much on our phones, you know. I just wanted to grab a picture of that because I don't have one of those. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a quick filling. Quick filling. I know I've been talking. It's like I've been doing this forever. Okay. So some parsley. Right? Parsley. Instead of spinach, we're going with parsley. All right? We're going to go with our mushroom. All right? Mushrooms going in. We're going to go in with our cheese. This is a gruyere. gruyere. Like everybody in the world, everybody in the moment think there's a V up in there. I don't know why, but we do. All right. I'm going to go in with a little bit of... um. Garlic powder, just a little bit. I don't know why. I think I remember it said something about some garlic powder. I'm just gonna get a little pinch of garlic powder, not a lot. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of prep to this, which is why you see in the Italian kitchen, they always have three, four people. Shade. So I'm going with a little bit of onion powder. Look, there's another battery we want it. I don't have enough chargers, y'all. I can't find my other chargers. And I knew this was going to get low, but I got to charge that other one over there. All right. And then also, actually, it didn't call for the salt and what it calls for the nutmeg. So we're going to do a little bit of nutmeg in there, especially on that mushroom. Oh, my God. What was the nutmeg? I can't remember. I'm trying to remember. What was the nutmeg? I don't want too much nutmeg. I always want to say, usually recipes will call for a half a teaspoon, fourth of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, so forth, so forth, so forth. Uh, it did call for a little bit of basil, though. Let me try. I don't want to do too much because I don't think that they're, they're going to... They'll be like, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Basil, actually, when you try to smell it first, it gives you a little bit of musty. But it does have a nice little ring and a flavor to it. You know, when you first, when you first get a little smell to it, I'm using my board again. I didn't want to cut on this board. But it give, it does give you a little bit of a um, must. And this is a little bit different. Because one thing about it is we keep adding spinach to everything. And I'm like, it's got to be something else, right? So what I'm doing is I'm improvising. I take the base of, of a ravioli stuffing, which is basically your ricotta, your cheeses, um, the green, something green. Um, pepper. Salt. I don't think I added salt. Just a little. Nutmeg. Okay. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna just use my ricotta just to kind of hold that together. And it said about a third of a cup, but I'm just kind of eye it. Oh, now I get the sense of that spoon. I put back the spoon yesterday. Wait, wait, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Egg. Ha! Yep, yeah, salt was one, garlic was one, parmesan, which we went with the grill. Is it one egg or two? Let's see. Because I'm, I'm not trying to use the whole recipe that they use because that was just too much. So we're trying to cut it down. I'm trying to see if I need a second egg in here. Yeah, we'll go ahead. So I got this little spoon 
on uh, thanks to the supporters of In the Kitchen with Dryer Buzz, if you swipe to the profile or you've seen me talk about the fact that we're in the midst of a spring campaign. And so all this stuff you see coming in, in the kitchen, down to the food and the ingredients, uh, the videos that I end up producing, um, all of that is supported through our supporters. So if you want to become a supporter, you go to GoFundMe.com slash Dryer Buzz Eat. GoFundMe.com, because guess what? We're going to eat, right? But... What we're doing is we're lending our platform. Once I'm growing this audience, I'm lending my platform to organizations that are addressing food insecurities, food scarcities, and that's something that you're going to see amp up in the summer. You might see a news story here and there, but what happens when things fall off the news cycle, right? People think that the problems are solved, and the problems are not often solved. And so what happens is, a lot of times, first of all, here's the issue, here's the real issue, okay? There are so many, in America, there's so many safety nets, there's so many resources. The problem comes in when we can't get that information out to the people who need it, right? So, like, if you live in an area where there's a scarcity, you're probably not going to see on the news that there's a food bank around the corner or that there's an abundance of resources because you don't have those channels of which to get that information. So what I'm doing is I am, because I have a reach and an audience, y'all, this looks good, because I have a reach and an audience and because I like having a level of advocacy to what I'm doing. Yeah, this makes for great photos. Yeah, the likes and follows and like all that stuff and people knowing, like talking about the food, that's all great. But if there's somebody that looks at the video and they don't have, and they're sitting there and not having, I'm like, you know, I know what fear is. I know what scarcity is. I know what trauma looks like. And I'm like, and I'm just trying like to hand somebody off at the path. Like, don't go down that path. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. All right, so what I have here is a mushroom parsley. This is a stuffing. This is gonna go in our in our ravioli. So, you know, but that's that's just it. I just wanna I just wanna help somebody. And I'm only to do that with your support. Thank you guys for your support. Even just down to this little spoon. One end of the spoon is a teaspoon, the other end of the spoon is a, a tablespoon. A teaspoon and a tablespoon. And uh, so I'm able to like stir and measure, right? Looks tasty, it is tasty. Is that my desserts by Shayna? Hey, desserts by Shayna. So, uh, I've got my lemonade. It's still over here steeping. Don't forget about that. It's still warm. It's still hot. I have to, uh, I don't want to take this top off until I get camera ready. Get the camera rigging back over there. Uh, I'm going to let this chill. Let me rinse this off. And we're going to get that chilling. And now everything is chilling. Everything is ready. Except I need to do some prep for my sauce. Because you have to do all your prep. Hey there. You have to do all your prep because... Once you cook your pasta, once I make the pasta, it's going to go right into the water. And then it's going to go right into the sauce. So we have to get all these things done prior to. So now get the top to that. We get that in there. And I'll show you guys on this selection what... I'll show you what we have already done. Uh, so here is our stuffing for our ravioli. And then I have, in the fridge already, y'all, then I prep something else. Is that all I got? And I have my meatballs. See that? These bad boys smell so good. So we're going to cook these off as well. So we're going to cook that off while we, uh, once we make our ravioli, have them rest up for a minute. For Because once we put the ravioli in there, we need to have the ravioli and salsa. It's epic, y'all. And I'm like, I wish I could turn the camera off and then come back and say, here it is. I know, but that's not how it works. That's not how it works. I wish. I wish that's how it works. And I know it's long and it's epic and it's just, how do you think I feel? But I enjoy doing it. And you know what? Let me tell y'all the truth, though. Let me tell y'all. Here's what you don't know. By the time you get to the restaurant, somebody's been at the restaurant all day doing this. And somebody just said, thank you, Yolanda, for saying that. 
Because y'all try to get in there and be like, oh, they didn't they didn't give me this and they didn't give me my water and I'm gonna cut that, I'm gonna cut that chip in half and then I've been there all day prepping all that food and those tables and all that kind of stuff and you come in there with your don't wanna tip nobody. Self. And them chefs and all them people that been up in there with all that cooking. All day. And you think that food is done by the time you place your order. Not. Not. Because they make it, everybody make it look so easy and so simple. So easy and so simple, and that's not it. Like, like me, I'm gonna put all this stuff up. I thought I'm pulling all this stuff out. I think I'm done with the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs not going in anything else. I got cheese. I gotta grate up another thing of cheese. I ain't thinking about y'all. Y'all ain't doing make me mad. Because the way y'all treat hospitality, it just drives me insane when I hear the excuses that people make about the hospitality industry. I would say just, just stop, stop undermining all the systems. You think my video is long? I'm just cooking for therapy. I'm just cooking, playing in my kitchen. But somebody else that's in this industry, they're like, they have to make a living off of that. Hell, I have to make a living off of mine too. But I just choose not to depend on that kind of food. Y'all, don't get me started. But, I mean, you ever hear somebody make all kind of excuses about why they're a bad tipper? Have y'all ever heard some of the stuff that they say? It's like when they just need to stay home. Just, can you just stay home? Can you just stay home and leave everybody else alone? All right, I'm cleaning up my board because I want to need that for my pasta. Let me see. We're going to grill the mushroom. We're going to fry up the... Here's what's on deck. Um, we're going to grill the mushrooms. We're going to saute the mushrooms, rather. Not grill. We're going to saute the mushrooms. And with the tomato. I'm going to put those in with the tomato. That'll knock that out. All right. So, can't yet do that. Let's figure out this. Let's figure out this sauce thing. Okay, we got a 20 and a 5 on that. Two things are charging. I know that one's getting low. I know, I stopped talking. I was upsetting myself. So I stopped talking. <laughs> I revert to, hey Ice, welcome back. I revert to French onion too much. And that's what I just did, right, right here, right now. And I'm looking at this only because, hell, I ain't Italian. Although I love a marinara, I like gravy. I like good old-fashioned gravy. So I wanted, I really wanted, my goal with this was to really kind of have it somewhat stroganoff, you know, or just deeply, richly mushroom. And I'm looking at this uh, thing here, and it's deeply, richly tomato, and I don't want it to go tomato. I want it to go mushroom. So I don't really want to do the tomato sauce on there. Um, but I know I'm gonna have to pull my daughter, I'm gonna have to just pull her some ravioli out because I'm gonna I'm gonna hit mine off my sauce off with some beef broth. Um, so I'm gonna do a little cream sauce for her, you know. 
That's what I'm thinking about for her. Because it's changing up. My flavors are not really going that direction, you know? So. Because I'm like mushroom and onion. I'm so mushroom and onion, it's ridiculous. I know y'all are tired of mushroom and onion, but I am so mushroom and onion. Just like, just like New Orleans, they are so onions and celery and what's that trinity down there? But when in doubt, go with what you know. Hello there, not familiar with uh, operating this app yet. Smiles, that's okay. What are you, are you on Twitter or are you actually over on Periscope? Mushrooms and onions and beef sauce, it's amazing, exactly, right? Go with what you know, and, and I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm in the deep south, and I love, I love mushrooms. I love mushrooms and onions. I love French onion soup, you know? Paris, are you on Periscope? Okay, yeah, it, it's just a little bit different if, you, if you're so, but I mean, you come, you come from Pal Talk like the rest of us, so this should be a breeze. And I think because you think it's supposed to do more than it actually does, you expect it to do more than it does. That's usually the thing with it. So. The Holy Trinity, onions, bell pepper. That's where I am. That's where I am, Shana. I keep wanting to throw some peppers up in this, but in, you notice you don't see a lot of that in the, uh, in the pasta. In the pasta dishes are... They are so authentic, and they will do, they will do those other things, but it's usually off to the side. It's never really into the dish. So what I have here is I have my, I'm going to do about a, just like a bowl of that. I'm going to do a bowl of these mushrooms too. So we'll have mushrooms. So this, I'm just trying to make sure I get all my sauce stuff together. And again, like I said, I know people, because people comment about the length of the videos, but it's like when you go to the restaurant, those people have been, you go into a restaurant for dinner, they've been there all day. In fact, one of my favorite restaurants, they shut down and they have to take two hours to prep, two hours to prep the dinner items, right? So just think about that. But I don't want it to, I try to talk about it so that nobody ends up discouraged. So what, this is what our sauce is basically gonna end up being is mushroom and then I'm gonna um saute those down. I'm gonna add a little I'm gonna go in a little bit of cream. Um also into that sauce is going to be did we have a oh cheese a pepper a little bit of yeah I guess I gotta do this too so this is my parmesan so I'm gonna do The Parmesan just to have to go on that. Seems like I supposed to put Parmesan in something else. No, we did that uh, Grimaire in the other thing. All right. So I'm just going to cut that up and go ahead and get this chopped up for to go on top of our thing there. So that's the last cheese I need to cut up. And I keep thinking, like, why? Oh, be careful with these blades, y'all. I keep trying to save cheese. I'm like, why? Girl, go and cut the cheese up. I got a bowl of cheese in there. Since pasta recipes have been passed down for years, the ingredients, uh, regional and seasonal. Exactly. Regional and seasonal. So, and the same thing, too, when you start making your pasta. Ooh, ouch. Wait. Did that go on right? Okay. When you start making pasta, you will find that, like, you know, what... Some things are hearty to you. Like, I mean, just basically about the taste buds, you know. If I stick to the authentic recipe, then my taste buds are not truly satisfied. I'm like, wait, I'm, I should have put some of this. I remember I cannot cook. I only have opinions. <laughs> yeah, you made me put my, you made me put my blade out there. I put all that stuff in there. You made me laugh. I pulled that blade right out of there. All right, so what I'm doing now, this is like the third 
Y'all, this is the third set of cheese I've had to crush up. Each one of these has a different cheese. And I was saying earlier, and I hope everybody's still on, YouTube's still going. I was saying, damn, I keep trying to hold it by the blade. I keep forgetting this. This is Ninja. It's different. It doesn't. I keep trying to grab it, thinking the blade is in there. But, um, it, um, what was I saying? The most expensive thing about the rest of these recipes is the cheese. And luckily we found um, a clearance, clearance aisle, a clearance section in the cheese section where they have smaller um, items. So let me see if I can remember how I did this the last time. There we go. I'm trying to remember. gadget ever. Y'all been looking for something to chop, dot, chop and dice and all that. You are one talented sister. I try to be, you know, I, I, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to try things and I'm certainly not afraid of people, other people having their opinion because, you know, your opinion really only lasts today. Because what I'm going to do, you know, I'm just, I'm just not, I don't, I've never had to deal with uh, a sense of no. Coming to chat, what are you gonna do? Cameras everywhere. Where you going? Where you going? What you gonna get? Coming in and fixing some lunch? No. Exactly, no fear. You can't be about fear. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Watch how I pour this cheese. Look at that. Look how that grated that cheese. Ooh, honey. Can y'all see that? And they smell so good. So three different cheeses in this thing. And like I said, we had not, just imagine if I bought the full package of each of these. And I'm talking like real authentic. We went to the cheese counter, okay, to get these cheeses. And they start at, a, a full block starts at $8. Uh, love, Michelle Obama Podcast. Thank you. That was a good one. Angela is really good. Hey there. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't, can't say that screen name. I admire your efforts. Remember, I cannot cook with the seeds pasta. That, I'm gonna make sure I got everything. Okay, cool. That's that's turned out to be a really good podcast, and it's resonating. I gotta taste the cheese, y'all. This is Parmesan. This is just simply some Parmesan. I'm not shaking it in the thing. It ain't been on the shelf for up ten years. That's literally going. Oh, mm, there's some left in the thing here. Oh my god. Splurge, people. Let me talk, let's talk budget. Let me talk a little bit about budget on this, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Um, we, Angela and I have been at it for a while. We've been at this a long time. And we've always said we wanted to do things, um, but we've always and everything have, you know, the timing, the timing has just never been right. And so we said this time, it's like, okay, uh, when Periscope did that where you can dial in, because we did it before when Google Hangout was a thing. Uh-oh, I lost that one. Now I got to find another battery. We did it with... Uh, Google Hangout was a thing, and we did it, you know, depending on, it depends on the technology. You know, technology changes on us, and we have to, you know, stop because we just both have such busy lives. There were a time, you know, when my kids were small, 
she was doing uh, corporate stuff, and then I was doing corporate stuff, and then, um, you know, we both had uh, the loss of our moms, and we both had been in caregivers. So, you know, we just kept realizing that, man, we got these parallel lives. We got to really figure this out, how to do this. So right now, Periscope is lending itself to that uh, for us to do the podcast. And then, in fact, I have that one. I've got to launch it on the other podcast platform. So um, now, I'm going to sit this up here. Let me find some more room. Uh, so now, I'm just, I'm just ecstatic that I get to... Um, do this with her. You know, I mean, like, just finally, you know, finally we get to archive. Like, I, like, I, I was doing radio. She couldn't really do, you know, commit to uh, radio. And uh, so I, you know, have her on occasionally and so forth. And then, uh, you know, we just, we just, you know, and luckily we we have some opportunities right now to do that. And when I go right now, we're committed till May. Um, Michelle Obama will be in Atlanta in May, so we said, well, let's do this as just a kind of a countdown to that. All right, so I'm gonna sit this over here, guys. Imagine the smells going on in my kitchen. So we'll just kind of sit that there, and the cheese can go in the fridge, along with all the other. Amazing ingredients. Like, why is this bowl of cheese still in here? We still got cheese. We still got the Mexican cheese. Let me see. What did I do? Okay, so we got. Okay, so we got our stuffing ready. We got our meatballs ready. Um, pasta time. Pasta. It's pasta time. Our lemonade is just about ready. I don't want to take the top off that lemonade until I. Well, let me go ahead and do that. One of those devices was going to. I can do that later. I can do that later. That that's a finisher. That's a finisher. So I don't have to do that right now. I won't bother y'all. I know y'all. Everybody's like, which one she's gonna unplug? Which one is she gonna unplug? I'm not gonna unplug you guys. I'll finish that later. Uh, cause y'all know me. I need my device. I gotta figure out another. I brought the camera in, and I still need another device. Uh. Now comes the pasta. All right, so what happens here? This is the quick, fast, and semi-hurry, or the hurry up and wait, because we want to make sure that this comes out right. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our colomone, colomone. Voila. Let me get a um huh. I'll set that shot. I'm trying to see what uh man I need a haircut. Ooh child, I need a haircut. Alright, uh just looking at the shot. I think I can probably go here in the front of that. Uh, I'm trying to let those devices charge up. I might lose you guys' Instagram. Y'all probably already gone. But we'll see. Um, this is the part. It's going to go kind of quickly. Yeah, y'all got a battery warning. Ain't seen nothing. Uh, all right. That's done. All right, what's on there? So per back, we're back to um, YouTube and Periscope. What did I have over here? Oh yeah, okay, Facebook is done. I don't want to do more Facebook. Let me bring this over here so I can charge it. I have another, I have another grip. So they're gonna need to come around here anyway to see the pasta stuff. So we'll bring them, I, I missed, I was like, what's supposed to be on this grip right here? Oh, man, it's hard to do. Okay, cool. Oh, we did get that straightened out. Okay, good. All right, let me check your battery level. Before we get started on this next phase. Switching out. Next segment. Uh, uh, I really can't tell, can I? 
Let me see if I can do this without killing my thing there. Nope, 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 not that one. Ooh, nope, wait, I saw something. What'd I do? Okay. I saw something. Let me see, I think this one is the swipe down. Let me see if I can swipe. Okay, this one's at 37%, so I can borrow a little bit on that one. Hopefully, y'all mess up the sound, guys. I'm sorry. Whew. I am consulting. This is another. This is another part where your support comes into play. I am consulting uh, on a whole bringing all of this into one stream, and that is somewhere down the line. Here, let me get this stuff done, y'all. I'm so ready to be done now. I'm kind of tired. We're going over there. Let's go ahead and go live for them. Okay, so now, welcome back, welcome back. All right, so now comes our recipe for our pasta, which I have in my head, and I have also, hopefully written down somewhere, 200 grams of flour is basically what I'm gonna need. Two hundred grams. Wipe my scale off here. And out of that two hundred grams, I'm thinking about, and I was going to try the spinach powder, but I, I don't think I want to, because every time I get ready to make the pasta, I always try to tweak the recipe, and I shouldn't, and I just just go with it, you know, go with what I know, and so I have one that is. I have one that is simply 200 grams, which means to 125 uh, but I kept saying I want to bring in some whole wheat into that and I'm just yeah I'm gonna bring in a little bit of whole wheat into this only because I'm trying not to keep this stuff around so long but I know that I will need now pasta is literally Eggs and flour. So if you ever find yourself real hungry, your ramen, if you ever find yourself where there's nothing in your fridge but some flour, you ain't got nothing but a couple of eggs and some flour, that's pasta. Literally. With a little bit of water. Uh, start with about maybe eight ounces, less than eight ounces of water. I usually start with eight ounces of water. Some, a lot of them don't even add water. But, um, some of them are all flour and water. If you got flour and water, you got ramen. Okay? If you got egg and flour, you got you got pasta. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, I need two egg yolks and one egg. I've been cutting that down. I cut down a recipe. Somebody had a really good recipe. And I was like, you know what? I don't even want all that. Can y'all see that? So basically, I'm just trying to get my egg white off of here. And yes, we do keep our egg white. I use egg white. In fact, I have some things I have that I will fry. And uh, you need an egg wash, and I use my egg white. So I'm going to need two egg yolks. I need something to put my egg white in. Don't 
don't call me up for jar order for nothing. So what you're watching, if anybody wants to know like what you're watching, Periscope, I can't see the comments. I'm charging the device, y'all. Come on, they let go. What you're watching, and I'll, I'll try and get back to it. Oh, cool, perfect, okay. Uh, is the prep. This is a, the prep is what goes on at the restaurants before we get there, right? This is what, I know people are like, man, that's a lot, but this is what this is what happens before you get to the restaurant and they bring you out that big beautiful plate of food, okay? This is what goes on there. They try to figure out too what to do with all them egg whites when all the recipes call for egg yolks. And then I just need one egg. One whole egg, two egg yolks. One whole egg, two egg yolks, and that's gonna go with 200 gallons of flour. You got if you double that, I've cut literally cut it in half. Because I don't, I don't need that much. So I literally cut the recipe in half. And because usually it costs like 500 grams of flour and all that kind of stuff. I'm not, to, I'm not trying to make all that. Okay, so I'm going to go right into my mixer with my grams. So what I want to do is get my measuring thing, my bowl. Put the bowls out already. See how, see how smart I was trying to be? I'm going to subtract that weight there. Get back to my zero. And then I'm going to go with, I need 200 grams of flour, of which I want, majority of it to be all purpose. Um, a third of it to be whole wheat. And then I know 25 grams, I want some lean. I know 25 grams, I want similar. So that leaves me 175 grams. So that means I want 50, and I know I want 50 grams of that. So I'm gonna use 125 grams of that. That's why I say doing the math using your grams is so much better than anything else. Where is my spoonie? from the semolina with a little bit more combination of something else because it's really the one this is that the one this is what gives you that nice store-bought uh, flavor and when you are trying to make these recipes at home when you're trying to make these recipes at home you're trying to switch over your family like y'all watching all those documentaries and you want to start eating whole and healthy and raw and all of this that and the other um, this is what happens when you um, start, you, you have, in order to get, persuade them to go for it, the homemade, it's got to kind of look like and taste like what's at the store. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in my semolina into my mixer there, and then we're going to do our whole wheat, which, uh, let me grab another pan, I don't want to go down with that all purpose. Now we need 50 grams of this. We did 25 of that, we need 50 of this.
All right, so we're gonna drop that in there. And now, so that's what, 25 and 50, that's 75. And I want 200, so now I'm gonna go 125 on my all purpose. Still a lot of flour, right? And I know this is what my mixer can handle. This is what my mixer can handle. Still seems like a lot. All right, so we're going with our flour, all-purpose flour. So there we go. We're good, y'all. We're good, 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 good. Can you get a sense of everything kind of winding down? Kind of winding down. We got our, we got our things. We got our ingredients for our sauce. Um, because when we do the pasta, again, pasta cooks, fresh pasta cooks in like a minute, two minutes, right? So we won't need all we won't need all that. We need to have everything else ready. So stick around or go do what you gotta do and come back. Go do what you gotta do and come back because I'm gonna get a good a real good sizzle going here for you guys in just a few minutes. Let me get some of this stuff out the way. Did I rinse that off? I'm gonna get a real good sizzle going here in just a little bit, just a few minutes. It's not gonna take me but a few seconds to um not this pasta out, but I want. I need. I need room. I gotta clean my counter off because I gotta put my pasta on the counter. Patty Bass sounds like she's watching a good movie, you And then I'm. It, and then as I put those eggs in there, if I need water, I'll add. I'll add that water to it. Those egg whites. I'm going to put that in the fridge. I'm going to use that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use that with, to seal off my pasta. Those extra egg whites, I'm going to use that to um, put on my pasta. Because I will need an egg wash. I just thought about that. I think we're about, we're about, we almost there, y'all. We almost there. But again, the next time you go to a restaurant, just realize somebody is doing all of this. That beautiful meal that comes out to your table that you think your server just ran to the back and got it, and they forgot to bring you this, and they forgot to bring you that, and you nitpicking, and they done been there all day trying to help get that restaurant and all that food together. Stop it. Stop it. Here's my notes. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out about that. Oh, we did put some basil. We put basil in there, right? All right, put my semolina up. Nope, I can't put my semolina up because my semolina is going to go down the board. That's why I was drawing my board off. Semolina is going to go right here. That's why I don't want to be cutting on here and getting it all faded and all that kind of stuff. Cause all this, I'm trying to make sure that every crumb is off of here because it will end up in my dough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a little bit of, do I need to come down some? You two, you got the good, there's a cord in your way, right? I see that cord. Did that get that out your way? And when you see me looking this way, there's a television, there's a monitor right here, there's a television right here where I can watch YouTube, Instagram. You guys, what? What are you sipping on? That is uh, some um, turmeric, turmeric lemon, turmeric, turmeric lemonade, lemonade and turmeric. Um, so if you want to be like Instagram, you guys are on the portrait. If you want to see like the panoramic of the kitchen. You can go over, did I put that in your way? I got it out? Okay, good. You can go over to the YouTube. Go over to your fire stick. You guys can watch this on your fire stick. Because I know y'all like, damn, I'm tired of holding this phone, right? This is a long video. Anything more than 10 minutes, go over to your fire stick. Go over to your Roku. Go over to your game system. And all of these apps are now on those apps, on those app, on those uh, machines. And you can watch. You can lean back. 
Lean back. Okay, let me stop. All right, so now we're ready. Pasta is a literal. Wait a minute. Just trying to think about some oil. I'm trying to think the last time I added some oil in here. I don't know. I'm trying to remember if I add oil in there. I think that was something else I put oil in there. Always advocating for somebody. I need to stop that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna just kind of mix up my flour here just a little bit, get it all mixed up over my egg in there. So if you remember, I put three types of flour in here. Keep it simple, just use all purpose. Or if you want to again get that store bought, that store bought flavor, store bought look and feel and taste, a little bit of semolina. Then if you want to really explore, I put in um, all-purpose, whole wheat. You can't go all whole wheat. We try to make it all whole wheat. All whole wheat is very thick. It's very dense, right? So you kind of need the lightness of all-purpose. And then a lot of times when you read the pasta recipes, you'll see them uh, talk about using zero, zero flour, which is a finer grade of flour. Finer, uh, it's fine. And I haven't found it. So all-purpose, um whole wheat and then just a little bit of that semolina is uh you know authentic i guess you know bob's red meal got got them all all right not affiliated but i will tag them um so what i'm going to do now is literally pasta when I, you're going to see a big ball of dough come out of here it's literally flour and egg once i put the egg in there if i'm not getting the the dough that i want i would add a little bit of water all right so we're gonna go ahead and drop our eggs in there and get that stirred around. No need to be any particulars about it. No particulars. stuff is set up. I need a little bit more water, guys, because of um, my flour. But um, it seemed like it didn't want to connect. Just bringing it together in a the ball, then we're going to knead it. I guess Amazon ain't gonna make it, huh? So much for the two-day prime stuff. Hey there, Erica. My stories, what's going on? Okay, so here's what I have. Is I have my ball of dough, and I'm just gonna get a feel of it. It's nice and thick. 
So we're gonna get a quick picture of that while we still got cameras before the camera dies. Only because I don't have picture. Now, if I had my dough hook, yeah, I would leave it on there and just let the dough hook kind of work with it. But I don't have my dough hook, but then what's the use of making homemade pasta if you're not gonna get down and get dirty in it, right? And then anybody get down and get dirty? Does anybody get down and get dirty? Damn, I just spread it all over there. It's just about having fun and turning food into, turning ingredients into food, y'all. And all of it came out the bowl. Every bit of it came out the bowl. All right, that's why I use that hook because it scrapes the edges. Get that washed up because y'all know me how I feel about having to come back and do something. Hold on, Periscope. Let me see if I can get something on for you guys. Y'all, my head's down a little bit so much I can't see the comments. And I apologize. I'm trying. I gotta get. I gotta get. Oh what? no! I can't see it on there. Let's see. Let's charge it. Let me see if I can find this on Periscope so I can see some of these comments here. Twitter. What is that? Twitter. Tweeby. Show your Twitter timeline on your TV or tablet. What's that? Let's download that. Yes, I want to get that. Show your Twitter timeline on your TV or tablet. Tweeby. It better work, too. <laughs> so, here I have all my dough. This is a lot of dough. So now, she's got to knead it. What does she always forget to do? Put either a little flour or a little oil on her hands. It would wait till I put this flour on my hand and say open. I would go that way. I need to go this way. Yes, it is a stiff dough. But it starts to get elastic. And I'm not I'm not a great kneader. And it's a little stiffer because I put the whole wheat in it. If it was just all purpose, we'd, it'd be like a um, bread dough. But with that little bit of semolina and that all purpose flour, it's like, fight with me, girl, fight with me. different with that um um what a whole weed in there still only gonna take a few minutes to cook it I like putting down regular flour in that semolina that semolina makes it feel kind of like mealy like pizza dough Please 
sign in on your computer. I'm not trying to sign in on the computer. Go back. You you fail. Have a search button. Nope, I can't get it. Oh, wait, I know where to get it. Hmm. Oh, that movie's on here already? I'm resting my arms, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Shit. Hold on. Let me see if I can get back. Come on, home. I'm gonna go down here. Go back. Wait, I saw it. There it goes. Okay. My dope feels good though. My dope feel, feels really good. All right. Um, Instagram. Join us on Periscope or Twitter. What is Petty Betty watching? Petty Betty turned down some. I'm like, how do I get, oh. I like that this pizzeria is back. Did I die out? These broadcasts are giving me the business today. Look at this damn thing. Okay, we're going to go forward face because I can't keep up with this behind the scenes. Oh, this one's good. Okay. Now we can get this one charged up. These charge fast. This one don't charge what we're doing. I'm tired, y'all. I'm ready to eat now. All right, we're on our way. She telling Alexa to shut up.
Welcome back, guys. I know, I saw, I was trying to pull it up over here so I could see. I had to put you guys on the forward-facing camera because I, I can't see what's going on on the rear-facing camera, even though the video is so much better. Um, but, unfortunately, I keep losing you guys and don't know it. So, all right. So, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. And I don't, I, I normally would let it rest, but like I said, it's been a long day. So we're going to go ahead and do so. Let me see if I can get y'all in the shot here. Where we going with this? Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Let me get YouTube back. I never did watch. Oh, yes, I did. I saw that movie. Her bed's making me jealous of that. What is she watching? I'm trying to test out one more shot. Can y'all see? such a good shot. Love it. 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 Normally I let this rest some, but um, that's a lot of dough. It's a lot of dough. 